Okay, hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a makeup look with the Morphe 35O palette. <clears throat> and also, I'm going to be putting a wig on. That's like my first time putting a wig on. And right now I'm showing you guys the colors that I'm going to be using throughout the video for the eyeshadow look. It's not hard and you can tell which colors I'm using during the certain time. So just make sure to follow along. The Morphe 35O or the Morphe palettes usually in general don't have names to the palette. So yeah, just make sure if you have the palette, you're kind of keeping a look out on what the colors uh, I'm using. And right now I'm just going in with the transition color and eventually I'll go up with, go in with a deeper orange to kind of blend it in all together. And on the outer corner, I'll be going in with the brown just to kind of dab it and blend it all together. Then I'll be putting eventually um, basically like a half cut crease with the L'Oreal concealer. I do actually really like the concealer at first. I was kind of iffy about it, but I really do like it. And I like like how, what is it called? Like, I don't know, the little piece of the brush, the brush of the concealer. I really like the brush of the concealer whenever you're doing like a half cut crease or cut crease in general and you don't need much product in order for it to go because I had to like kind of spread out the product when I was putting it on so yeah just be careful not to put too much because that's why I had to bring the brushes in the two different brushes because it was too much product but then afterwards I'm gonna eventually start blending this all out together to give it like you know get it just as one so there's not any harsh lines because right now there's hella harsh lines and you don't want that and then like I said you're gonna go in with the gold color I used it with my finger because that was the best way to pick it up and showing the most pigmentation on my eyelid and that's what we want we want the most pigment and color you can get out of the eyeshadow so I felt that was a good way then you're gonna go in on the inner eye corner with that like almost white pale what is it like what would you call it like skull white almost to just um give it that transition that three-way like to show the three different colors but you also want it to be blended at the same time there's no harsh lines as you can see <laughs> there's no harsh lines so you want everything to be blended out perfectly so that's what I'm trying to do right now then eventually I'll go grab my eyeliner and my mascara my eyeliner is going to be from Givenchy and I need to list the specific eyeliner down below because I don't know the name of it by heart but I really do love it there it goes right there liner couture it's super good I'm pretty sure it's expensive my mom gave it to me but I fell in love with this freaking eyeliner. Usually, other than that eyeliner, I'm using my cheap NYX ones, which, girl, are bomb because they're bomb on a budget, you know, for the people that can't afford expensive-ass eyeliner because I know I can't always. But this is a really, really nice eyeliner, liquid eyeliner. I love it so much. And then I'm going in with the IT Superhero or the IT Cosmetics Mascara. I usually always use that mascara. I got it for gratis a long-ass, long-ass time ago. And I haven't gotten gratis since then. <laughs> but yeah, I'm using that. It's a pretty good mascara. I like it. Um, I don't really have any mascaras and I actually need to go buy some now that I'm thinking of it. Then you're going to go in with those orange transition colors and you're just going to blend it all under. So like I said, it can be all just like connected. And I hate when people don't put eyeshadow under their eye. Like there's certain looks you just have to put the eyeshadow under your eye. And I felt like this was one of the looks. Okay, and then for the last uh, parts of the at least eye makeup tutorial portion that we have, I'm just going to keep on blending all of the eyeshadow out, and then I'm going to be going in with that MAC eyeliner, which is almost like a blue-black. You can't really tell on camera, kind of, only because of the end of the pencil when I'm showing you, but it is like a blue-black eyeliner because I couldn't find a fully black one, so that one had to do, but it honestly looks super freaking bomb. Like, I was surprised. And then I'm just going in and cleaning up whatever I felt like needed to be blended more or put together. So, you yeah. know. Okay, hey guys. Welcome back to my channel. If you didn't watch or maybe I haven't posted it. I'm not sure which order. Ugh, my eyes bother me. I'm going to post it in. But um, I did this makeup look and I have to put my lip on still. I should have put my lip on but 
it's whatever i'm not a professional guru so anyways today we're going to be getting into wigs as you guys know i have put on wigs will have had on wigs in my videos in the past um yeah just for videos and um i've never actually like put it on the right way like you know actually wig cap and glued the wig cap down you know like to secure the wig so it's not being snatched uh i had another wig like i had more wig caps that i opened yesterday because i was being dumb and like playing around with them but today girl i'm going to be showing you how to put the wig cap on this is actually like my first time actually doing it like seriously so don't judge me um if anything i cannot braid for shit these are not my braids these are braids by my friend my co-worker jamela shout out to her she put uh she did my braids they're super cute uh she did them yesterday but i was like girl i could record a video uh so whatever and i always thought my head was like too damn big for a wig but that's not i mean it's big still but you know I can secure the wig now. Okay guys, so I just got these bobby pins. I've been having these forever. You can go to like the beauty supply and grab like a whole big old thing of these. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna like grab whatever hairspray. I love Tresme. Um, how it smells, holds. Oh damn it, I'm running out. Fuck. Oh well. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna like slick back my hair because you don't want like your baby hairs or nothing showing because girl. You're wearing a wig, so I don't know what color wig you're wearing, but you're wearing a wig, and I'm test trying it, and it doesn't have to look the best, but you just kind of want your hair slick back. Uh, usually if the braids are like fresh, you know, all your hair should probably be back, but uh, these braids are slept on, so yeah, we're gonna secure the braids. It's like a crisscross thing and can y'all see okay and you're just gonna secure the braid right by here. the way i am not a professional in any way especially dealing with hair so whatever i'm doing don't put me accountable to it this was my first time putting on a wig like that and i actually learned more tips and tricks that i'll probably do an updated video about wigs pretty soon because yeah this was like a total epic fail to be honest with you so this is how your hair gonna look you want it to be flat. You want the wig to be laid, girl. So, I've watched videos on these, but I've never, like, done this myself. So, I got a big-ass head. So, how are we going to do this? Um, so, you're going to look like a condom at first, but it's okay. Because, I mean, it's okay. You'll just be a condom. Girl, my head is big. This wig, <laughs> Ew, I look like a penis. Okay, get your got to be glue. Hope y'all can see that. It's kind of bright. And then you're just gonna shake. And then I've seen them just like. What the fuck? Wait, why is it not spraying? Oh, girl. Okay. I feel it. Many kind of stinky. So we're just gonna like. Rub across the hairline. Oh, yeah, that shit's sticky. And you're just gonna make sure your shit is secured. Okay, so after looking like a penis head, you're gonna just warm it up. So then you're just going to blow dry the got to be glue so it can get sticky. You can also get the got to be glue gel just to give it like that extra secure, you know, strength or whatever. But all I had was the got to be glue freeze spray but that worked pretty well overall i didn't glue on the actual wig to the cap so i just was gluing on the cap to you know my head but also i forgot to freaking cut the freaking cap because this cap this wig cap barely is like oh my eyes watering it's barely covering the back of my head which is cool it's cool it's cool I have a big ass head thanks parents so then you're gonna get your wig, uh, wherever you got it from. I just went to the, my local beauty supply shop, store, whatever you wanna call it. Oh shit. Oh, there she goes. She came out the bag perfectly. So this is her. I don't really have a name for her. Fendi, stop. Fendi always wants to attack her for some reason. 
Like, girl, your mom used to have inches when I first met you, girl. So this one doesn't personally, like, have a strap in it or anything like that. But it has clips. So what you're going to do, I'm going to flip my head over. Hopefully, Fendi don't attack me. And you're just going to... You're just gonna grab the clips, grab the clips from under, make sure they're secured, and then, whoo, bitch, oh my god, no, okay, I kinda wanna do like a, like a side part thing, oh my gosh, my weight cap is like too, <laughs> like, don't look realistic, ooh, yeah, you can tell, okay, so this is how the wig looks it's on but girl like i have i have a lot of hair this wig has a lot of hair so i'm like brushing it out of my face i kind of want to like glue the wig down but like that might not be the best idea because oh shit i actually think i have clips i have clips oh secure this bitch on okay so i'm gonna do my lips uh shit i need to rub Okay, right here, low-key, um, you can kind of see how the wig is not secured on. So that's why I'm saying if you wanted to glue it on, it would be better because it's not showing all the, like, your real hair. And also, like I said, I did not necessarily put this wig on the correct way the first time around. This was one of my first times kind of playing with the wig and actually, like, putting a wig cap and stuff like that on. So this is kind of an experiment. So next time, I want to do an updated wig video for you guys because I'm learning how to lay these bitches. Put some black over it. Like darken it up like a cherry, you know. Or uh, we'll just layer that bitch over and be lazy. Have like a vampire fig. Ooh, I made my lips. Let's see kind of red. Girl, this lipstick comes in handy every year. It's wet and wild. It was a Fergie collection. Oh my god, this is so old. Fergie, bitch. Wet and wild. Wow, Fergie, you did that, bitch. I'm just gonna finish off this look. So I bought these cute little cheapy earrings from Walmart last year. I actually wore these on Halloween um, when I was working at, well, I'm still working at Ulta. But when I was working, like, full-time, I guess, at Ulta. Cause I had to work on Halloween, but I didn't dress up as anything. But I did like black lipstick, and I had my pink hair. You know, it was the look. Mm. Can you even see them? They're a little small. She kind of has the same vibe. I'll add her Twitter. She's so cute, so freaking cute. That's the look that I went for, except I added freckles. So I hope you guys enjoyed my first time putting on a wig um tutorial because that's what it is technically i guess i don't know or just seeing me look like a dumbass <gasps> put on a wig because i don't know how to but make sure you like subscribe comment make sure your mama subscribes your granny subscribes make sure everyone subscribes okay and i hope you guys liked it oh girl it's hot with this wig but this is the final product um i could really like glue this down when i bought this wig i didn't cut the lace right obviously because but look how cute honestly if i like pluck this sh shit and like cut some of the hairs you know customize the wig basically this could be a look um honestly this is hurting my head i don't know Oh shit it's about to rain i was gonna go to walmart it's like um what's it called yeah if you have a big head i don't know what's telling you girl this is inches girl let me back this shit up look at the inches Nikki Nettie 7 approved. <laughs> but girl, look at these faux freckles. I tried, bitch. I tried. Don't make fun of me. Don't come for me. They put more powder over them. <laughs> I tried. Look at the clip. I didn't record an outro. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. I'll see you bitches later. Bye.